What's up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. Thank you guys. Uh, so my name's Jeff and on today's show we're going to be going over a few different ways to figure out how much concrete you're going to need for your next job. Now we're going to show you a few different ways to get there and also go over a few tips to make sure that you don't run short so stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. <music> So first of all, you're not gonna need any kind of special app for your phone, any kind of special construction calculator or anything like that, and you're not even gonna have to worry about converting a square foot to cubic foot or any other kind of volumetric uh, formula like that. All we need is two pieces of information and a, just a basic calculator. I mean, honestly, the one on your phone is gonna work fine. Now, I've seen people use all kinds of different formulas for this, and I mean, some of them really easy, some of them incredibly complicated. And honestly, when I first started pouring concrete, I mean, I mean, at that point in time, all the foremen on the crew that I worked for, they all knew what the divider numbers were. They knew how to figure concrete. And so uh, they knew all this by heart and they would figure the concrete and then they'd go drop a quarter into the payphone, call the concrete plant. Or if we weren't anywhere near a payphone, uh, we could just radio back to our shop and they could call and order the concrete for us. Now, times certainly have changed a lot since then. I mean, I can't even imagine having to rely on a payphone or a two-way radio to order concrete. Now, before we even get into the different options, there are two pieces of information that we are gonna have to have no matter how you're gonna go about the rest. And those two pieces of information are the square footage of your slab and the thickness of the concrete. Now, at very, very least, you're gonna need to know the dimensions of your slab. And I'm sorry, but if you don't know how to figure the square footage, then uh, this video might not be for you. So the first option is, is that the very most basic level, if you're a DIYer, I mean, as long as you have those two pieces of information, you know your square footage, you know how thick uh, the concrete is you're pouring, you can just call your local ready mix plant. I mean, you're gonna have to call them anyways to order the concrete. You can give them this information and they will figure it up for you. Um, you know, you're not figuring this out on your own and some people don't like that, but they can take care of this whole thing for you if you want. Now, another option would be to ask Google. <laughs> now, I'm, not, I'm actually not joking about this, um, I'm serious. Uh, you can get all this information online. Um, you can literally just type in your dimensions, your thickness, it'll spit out a number. You can get all the divider numbers if you wanna do the formula yourself. Now, another option would be concrete calculators or apps for your smartphone or construction calculators, and there are different forms of these out there. Uh, there's this little one here that's kinda like this little ruler looking thing, and. You know, honestly, I've had this thing laying around for a long time, but I've, the only thing I've ever really used it for is it was a ruler. So again, at its most basic level, all we need is the square footage of the slab and we need to divide that square footage by the right number uh, to tell us how many cubic yards of concrete we're gonna need. Now, that right number is gonna be dictated by the thickness of the slab, but what we can't do, it's not gonna work to just divide the square footage by the thickness we need the proper divider number. And so this is where people used to just memorize this stuff by heart. Uh, this is the stuff you're gonna be finding on Google. Or if you can remember one number, just one number, and that would be 324. And I like to call this the nine by 36 formula, uh, but all that is is oh, you only have to remember one thing, just 324, that's it. And this is incredibly easy. All you gotta do is take 324, divide that by your thickness. So for example, if I were to, if my thickness of my concrete was four inches thick and I divide 324 by four, I'm gonna come up with the number 81. Now I can take that number 81 and I can divide my square footage of my slab by 81 and it is gonna tell me how many yards of concrete I need to fill up those forms. Now, the cool thing about this formula is, first of all, I don't need to remember, I only need to remember that one number, that's it. Don't need to remember 81, 65, 54, any of those things. And you can do this with any thickness you want. If you're pouring 12 inches thick, if you're pouring, you could do this for a concrete countertop. If you're pouring two inches thick, you can, you're completely wide open to figure this however you want. Again, all you gotta do, remember that one simple number. So now that you know how much concrete your job actually calls for, uh, there is a little bit more to it than that as far as not running up short. And the first one is to be precise on your grade. This is kind of an exact science. Uh, this isn't one of those things that if you're, uh, <laughs> if you figured your slab for four inches thick and you weren't very precise on that grade and you end up with uh, five inches in a bunch of areas, four and a half, maybe you wrote four by your forms, I'm telling you, you are not gonna have enough concrete because you figured it for four inches. And so just be precise with that grade, make sure it's at least within a quarter inch. That way you know it doesn't vary too much. 
Now, above and beyond that, this is one of those things that you always need to order a little bit extra and especially integral color. This is even more important yet. You will not have time. I can promise you that if you run a half of your hard yard short on an integral color job, by the time you call the plant and they get another yard dosed with color and out to you, there is gonna be a cold joint there and that job is not gonna look good at all. So always, always order a little bit extra. So the main points real quick are you always need to know the square footage of the slab and the thickness of the concrete you're planning on pouring before you can even start to figure out how much you're going to need. And the easiest way of calculating this is to divide your square footage by the right number and you can easily figure out what that divider number is on your own or you can look it up online. Well guys, that's pretty much it for today's show. Thank you guys so much for taking the time uh, to tune in and watch these videos every week. I mean, man, we really, really do appreciate all the support that you guys show to the channel. So from all of us here at DecoCrete TV, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.